Hello and welcome to a new video. So today I'm going to show you guys my makeup routine. I used to never do my own makeup. I always had a makeup artist come do my makeup and someone do my hair every time I had to go out to an event or get ready in the morning. But I learned to do my own makeup maybe like it was two, three years ago because when I started going to fashion weeks internationally like going to Milan and Paris when you don't speak the language and you're trying to describe to them the look that you want it's very difficult to describe to them and the result isn't always what you expected and so I watched so many YouTube videos I learned how to do makeup through YouTube and so now it's funny because I'm showing you guys how I do my makeup on YouTube none of this stuff is sponsored I purchased all of it myself and I've tried so many different primer and foundation combinations and what eyeliners work and stay on and things like that. And so finally, I found all the products that I like and I've been using this makeup routine, doing this makeup routine for the past year. And I haven't cha really changed anything at all. So yeah, let's get started. The first thing is you have to wash your hands. Make sure your hands are clean. I always like to start off with my primer. If I'm going outside, I will use this High End Beauty Sun Prep. It's a broad spectrum, it says SPF 20 sunscreen. This is like the best sunscreen because it doesn't feel like sunscreen at all. It feels like a very light moisturizing lotion and it smells really good. But I'm not going to use this because I'm not going outside today. We'll skip this step, but usually this is the first step. Next, I will use this Tatcha water cream, and I just really like how moisturizing this is, and it's a really nice base. Once you put that on, the next step is this other thing that I like to use from Tatcha, and it's a, whoops, it's called the Silk Canvas. And this is like a primer. It works really well with the foundation that I use. It blends super smoothly and it goes on like very seamless, not cakiness or any splotchy things. It's like this interesting purple tint. You just want to put on a little bit, not too much because otherwise it'll feel kind of sticky. And the next step is foundation. My favorite foundation that I've found, I used to use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk one and I used that one for like my whole life but then I discovered this Too Faced Born This Way and I've just found the color suits my skin tone so much better than the Armani one and I like how it has a little bit more coverage because I found the Armani foundation to be a little bit very light on the coverage so sometimes you have to put on like a lot and the color that I use is called warm nude and so the way I like to apply this is I use a beauty blender I've tried so many different application tools for foundation like I have here I've used this Saint Laurent brush the one with like the Y in the middle and then I've also tried this artist one which I didn't really like it's kind of weird shape and a little bit bulky and then I even have this Chanel one which is kind of an interesting brush and this one is kind of cool I like the way like the design of it but I still went back to the beauty blender because I feel like it distributes the foundation the most even and without any like weird patches or anything so I will take it and I'll just squirt it right on top and I usually do like two pumps for my whole face, sometimes like two and a half, just depending on how much coverage I want. And you just blend that into your skin. And you wanna always dab it in with the beauty blender. Like I've seen people use the beauty blender and like smear it around their face like a brush. Don't do that because that's just gonna, that's just not how this is supposed to work. It's like a sponge. So you just tap it around all over your face. And so that is my foundation. And the next step is concealer. The concealer I use is also from Too Faced. It's born this way. And my color is vanilla. And I don't always use concealer, but I mean, why not? So you just put it under your eyes is where I like to do it. 
and then I'll put some in the middle in between my eyebrows and then on my chin I actually have a little zit like right here on my chin so I'm just gonna put some over that and then I just take the same beauty blender and I just blend it by dabbing under my eyes and wherever I put the concealer I like to use this Anastasia brow definer for my brows. This is the triangular shape. There's another thinner one That's just like a little pointed dot. I think but I like to fill in my brows quite a bit Even though I do have microblading. Sorry, this light is so bright, but it works well. So I have microblading in my brows That's why it looks already filled in but I like to just fill it in a little bit more so I use this Anastasia one and the color is Ebony, ebony, I don't know how to pronounce it. But if you mess up a little bit, which I kind of did because I I went a little bit outside of my eyebrow, I take this little Marc Jacobs brush, it's called the Conceal, and it's supposed to be for concealer, I mean, but I just use it to basically fix like any marks that I've gone outside of where I didn't want this eyebrow pencil to go. And just to kind of clean it up a little bit. Now we do the other side. I finished doing my brows. I mean, I'm not a pro, but they're good enough for me. So the next thing I do is I do a little bit of highlight. And for highlight, I like to use this. It's from Hourglass and it's called the Ambient Lighting Palette. And it looks like this. There's like three different tones. I just use the one in the middle because it's the lightest and I think it's the most suitable for highlighting. I take this little fan brush that's from Tarte. I'm not sure what the name is, but it looks like a fan. I just put it in the middle. Let's go around and then just put it on my cheekbones. Just above my cheekbones and going a little bit up towards my eye. For contour, I take this Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the contour powder kit. I only use this middle, this middle one right here, the middle lower brown one. And then the brush that I take is the, it's called The Shape. And it's also by Marc Jacobs. Dab it in the middle one a few times. And then I just put it right below where I did the highlight. Super quick and easy. So the setting powder that I like to use now is this one from Charlotte Tilbury and it's called the Airbrush Flawless Finish and it is number two, which is the medium color. I'll link everything down below so if you can't see what it is exactly, it'll just be below. I take this Sephora brush, this is the powder brush and I just dab it in and kind of all over my face. I put this powder. I'm not really sure if it even really does anything, but it's just like a step that I do just to basically kind of set all my makeup that I've put on already. And after this is when I start the eye makeup. I start with the MAC Paint Pot and the color is soft ochre. This really helps everything to stay on. I just take my finger and then I just put it right above my eye. Sorry, this light I know is super bright on camera, but it's like the best mirror for helping you put on your makeup. I will link it down below as well because it's like the best travel mirror. Also, you can do your makeup in the dark, in the evening, any time of the day because the light is perfect. For eyeshadow, I use this Dior. It's actually a glow face palette. It's not supposed to be eyeshadow, but I just use it as eyeshadow because I love the color of it and how it goes on to my skin tone. The color is universal, so it's the pink one. I also use this Tartlet In Bloom Clay. And I only use one color from this one, so I don't know why I have the whole palette. For the Dior one, I go in with this gold color first, and I just take the same finger that I used for the MAC Paint Pot, and I just smear it around 
and then I put it in just the middle part of my eyes. After that, I take my Marc Jacobs, it's called the, the Shadow, an eyeshadow brush. I dip this brush into this brown color, the darkest shade that's on here like a few times. And then I will also take this Tartlet in Bloom One and I dab a little bit in the color called Jet Setter. It's, whoops. It's this top, there we go, that one. I put it in the corners of my eyes and just blend it around and up. Okay, well, my mirror just died. So just kidding, it didn't die. It has like one little dot of battery left. But we're almost finished anyway. So basically you blend in this eyeshadow into the corners and I do it like a few times because I like to start light and build. I don't want it to be like way too heavy and then I have to like go back and erase it. Okay, I think the mirror is really dying because it keeps turning off by itself. We will just do without the light. Then I will take this Sephora brush. It is called Eyeshadow and it's this little silver one. It comes in a set. So it came out of this set, but I just don't really use the other brushes in this set. And the Marc Jacobs one, by the way, all the brushes came out from this set. And there's still a few more in here that I didn't use. I just keep it here anyways. I take this uh, Sephora brush and I will put it back into this gold Dior thing. And then I will just kind of apply a little bit more of this gold shimmer. Because this is a very light shimmer. I like to build it up versus having like accidentally putting on too much done with the eyeshadow portion the last few steps are just eyeliner and eyelashes because I don't use mascara I find mascara to not work well for me it gets like all sticky and I just don't like it for myself so I use false lashes my favorite eyeliner is this one from Stila it's called the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Although I don't think it will be waterproof if I went into the water. But it does stay on pretty well for me. I used to use the Kat Von D one, but that one I felt like the ink always ran out. As in like you would use it maybe 10 times or something and then it gets very... It's not as runny like the black ink that comes out. And this one is way better. It's basically the same eyeliner, but... I think it's just much, much better. The good thing we're almost done with this makeup routine because it is very difficult for me to do my makeup now without the lights from this mirror because I'm so used to it. We'll just have to try and do the rest of it without this mirror light. So after I did the eyeliner, I used this fan, Patrick Ta's uh, he makes this fan and it's so good for helping your like eyeliner or if you put some spray on your face for just helping it absorb it and soak in and I like to use this to help dry the eyeliner faster. The last few steps I take this eyelash curler and this eyelash curler is from um, I can't really see and anyways, I really like it. I'm going to try to find the exact one because I think I know, I think I ordered it from Sephora. So I'll just look through my order history. But I can't really see because there's some makeup covering it. I like this because it suits my eye shape really well for curling the lashes without like pinching your skin because that's the worst. It's not as curved as some of the other ones. It's slightly more straight, if that makes any sense. Just quickly on each side before I put on the false lashes so then it kind of blends in better together. When I'm in a rush, I've forgotten to curl my lashes before and then you put on your false lashes and it looks like you have two sets of eyelashes because your normal lashes, mine don't curl naturally so they're like pointing straight or like pointing slightly downwards whereas the false lashes are pointing upwards and then it just looks kind of weird. My favorite fall slash company brand ever is Lash Star. 
I was introduced to this brand by a, my salesperson at Neiman Marcus and I've never used another brand ever since. So this is a pair I've used a few times so they look kind of, whoops, sorry, they look a little bit, they're not dirty but they're just not a perfectly new pair. So I have like 20, 25, 30 boxes of them because their eyelashes, they don't expire or anything and I'm always afraid of these brands like discontinuing stuff because makeup and things like that, they tend to do that. I don't know why. So I really stocked up on them and I use number two. They have like number one, number two, three, four, and one is like the most natural, very like not that dramatic. Two is slightly more and I like two. So this is a fresh box and this is what it looks like. The eyelash glue is this one from duo it's the clear one this is the applicator it's also from lash star i just like to use this to grab the lashes and i think it makes it a little bit easier to put on now the lashes are on and you can tell it looks so much better for me the lashes make such a big difference the last step is lipstick and i have this little thing that i travel with with a bunch of different lipsticks and i don't even know why i bring so many because i always use the exact same one so i really only need one lipstick and the one that i always use and i literally mean always use like i don't don't even use any of these other ones and i have a whole drawer here of also lipsticks that i just don't even use the one that i can't live without is this charlotte tilbury and the color is called pillow talk and it is the best color because for me it's matte and it's the perfect pinkish nude because there's some of those nude colors where if it's not the right shade it makes it look like you're sick or something because you look super pale when your lips are like all the wrong nude shade and then I don't want it to be super pink but this is for me the perfect balance between nude and pink and so I always always use this one and this is the finished makeup look. As you can tell, it's pretty natural. I mean, I didn't contour my nose or anything and I didn't use a lip liner, but for me, those are not steps that I would do. So that's why I didn't do them. As always, I'll link everything down below so you guys can check them out. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.